Hey, what's up, everybody? This is The Roy, and welcome to my channel, 40 and Broke, where we're all about getting out of debt, saving, investing, and getting our finances under control so we can live the life we've always dreamed of, because that's what it's all about, living the life we've always dreamed of. So uh, I just wanted to do a September closeout, October check-in, and see what I'm getting ready to do for the upcoming month of October. Sorry, the camera's shaking. I'm at work. They're loading the trailer. And hey, it is what it is. So I apologize for that. But here we go. Let me pull out my trusty dusty uh, calendar. I think the last time we ended off, it was like the 21st. You see, I did not put any of the stickers on. I've been completely lazy with that. So 21st, I spent money. Look at that. Lunch and Walmart. So I spent 20 bucks. This was considered a no, I consider the 22nd a no spend and I worked out. DG, $12. Not sure what I bought, but if I bought something, it was something we needed. Uh, you know what? I think it was cold medicine for my wife. And then on, I paid my mortgage, which is $700. And then the 23rd, I completely spent nothing, which gave me a no spend and a workout. The 24th, I had a no spend. So they gave me a total of 14 no spends for the month and 14 workouts because I counted that workout back there on the 10th. It was pretty unanimous. I counted, so I counted that as a workout. Come over here. Sorry. We went to Walmart, got some groceries. That ain't cheap. Went to Menards. I bought a bunch of stuff at Menards. Well, actually, let me rephrase that. I bought three things at Menards, and it cost 100 bucks. Two furnace filters and a brush hog for my weed whip. There's another thing. Hey, winter's coming. Make sure you do your maintenance. The number one thing that causes a furnace to burn up is not changing your filter regularly. And that makes it harder to push air, and it's just not good for your furnace. It just makes it work harder. So go check to see if you've got a furnace filter. And if you do, what shape it's in and swap it out. That's super simple. Usually you just pop a little uh, a door off, pull the old filter out, make sure you get a new filter the same size and put it in. Now, my cousin John, like my, my uh, in-laws, their fuel, their, uh, I keep saying, do I keep saying fuel filter? No, their furnace filter is like a four and a half or something like that, but I can only get a five. So it's all right to crunch it down a little bit and make it fit in there. Even if it's tight, you just don't want it really loose. So a little too big, not an issue. Too small, that's an issue. Ah, looks like on uh, Monday there, I got gas. So, Sunoco, 35 bucks. I only buy gas at Sunoco or the Marathon. Why? Because that's what I own stock in. But I consider that a no spend because it's not an impulse spend. And I budget for it. So, there's a no spend and a workout. Then my car insurance came out on the 27th which is a no spend and a workout. Totally spent a bunch of money that day. The I have that like a supplemental insurance on my house. That's what that home insurance is. And that that's in case I die or if my wife dies then it's paid off and if we don't ever use it, like if one of us don't die at like 75, we get a cash out of I don't know, a shit ton of money. I can't remember what it is. I'd have to look it up. But uh, I bought lunch, went to save a lot, bought something. The BP, that's because I wanted a soda. And then we went to Burger King and I bought us dinner. Or the wife wanted Burger King, so I bought dinner. But I did work out that day. 29th, Friday, I did not work out. Wait, that's uh, that's Thursday. I did not work out that day, but I did have a no spend. And on the 30th, I spent money and I did not work out. So, but I come out with a total of 17 no spends and 17 workouts. If you look over here, 13 was the uh was the number. So I wanted 13 no spends. 
I wanted 13 workouts. I got 17 of both. I wanted to be under 200 pounds by the end of September. On 10-1, I was 204.6 pounds, which, yeah, basically the exact same weight when I started. So I didn't lose, but I didn't gain. I mean, I got all the way down to 201.8. Honestly, I got down to 199, 199.8. I was actually under that 200 pounds one night. I weighed myself right before dinner. And I remember thinking, I'm like, maybe I should just go to bed and not eat dinner. I'm, all, I'm under 200 pounds. You know, I should stay this way. I should go the rest. I just not eat the rest of the month. But, you know, I, I got to eat. Did I read one book? I surely did not. Did I upload once a week? Probably not. I did not do my year in review or look to the next year. But, well, I kind of looked to the next year. I decided to name my next year. And I'm... Whoops. I'm naming it. I'm naming my next year my year of growth. And I want to be able to grow, uh, we'll say, you know, mentally. I don't want to say physically because I'm not really growing. And if I were to grow physically, then uh, that just means I get fatter and we don't want that. <laughs> but just mentally, and I want my financial coaching to grow also. So I have been working on my financial coaching quite a bit. I was trying to make up a 12 week program for, uh, kind of like parenting classes, but for people, you know, that were in jail, like I was saying before, and my cousin wanted me to do a 12 week program. So I'm making up a 12 week program. I'm on week number 11. In fact, as soon as I'm done filming this, I'm going to uh, pull it out and work on that. So next year is going to be my year of growth. I want I want to grow because I need to hit that that one million challenge. I've got to, you know, next year is my deadline and it hasn't been going great. But my found money only a dollar seventeen only only a dollar seventeen. I think somebody found out my little tip about the money in the vending machine because I haven't found much in there. But that dollar seventeen, I've gone from fourteen forty four to fifteen sixty one. So hey, you can't beat that fifteen dollars and sixty one cents of money that I have found on the ground. So while I'm at it, I'm going to give a shout out to Triton, who is in Josie's class. It seems he's found my channel and has been watching my videos like crazy. Like, so it seems like. Class of 2026, freshman class that Josie's in, that is my growing demographic, it seems. So, all right, shout out to Triton, who's been watching these videos. But here we go. Now we're going into October. What do I've got? Saturday. I had to work Saturday. But my nephew had a football game, and I bought some food while at the game. I went to the gas station and spent $3, so that means I probably wanted a soda. Let me get my finger out of that. I meant the I meant the camera. Get your minds out of the gutter, people. We went to Walmart, did some groceries shopping. Went to Arby's, got some dinner. But, so, zero no spends and zero workouts to start the week. The second, I had a no spend, but I really didn't do any working out. I mean, I drug some cattle around a pen, which was a little bit of, of like tug and pull. Get your minds out of the gutter. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, that wasn't like really a workout. So, and then today's the third. I haven't worked out yet. I've been sitting at this stop for a while, but I did a video for work. I'm doing this video now. So, you know, and then I'll probably work on that course. So maybe I'll work out tonight. I got stuff I got to do. And so far it's been a no spend. I've been wanting a Mountain Dew, but I haven't got it yet. So I'm thinking, eh, I might just, just not get it. We're going to find out. Who knows? Depends on how I feel between now and when they release me here and I, if I go over to the gas station. So once again, 13 no spends and 13 workouts is the goal. I want to work on 
the course extras because I want to have the course that I'm doing done, but I want to have extras for it, you know, like exercises to do. Because right now it's just a basic outline like, okay, this is budgeting. And, you know, I talk about how I was in prison for 11 years and, you know, that way it's like these guys have been to jail and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm somebody that they can relate to because, hey, I've been there and I've done that and now I'm doing X, Y, and Z, you know, and I'm making something of myself. So, but I want to work on the extras. So now that I'll have, you know, here's a, here's a, a exercise you guys can do to make you think of how, you know, how does this relate to your life type stuff, you know? And then I just want to, I also want to turn it into a workbook that I can turn around and sell. I want to get under 200 pounds. So that's probably a good reason I should not buy that Mountain Dew here in a little bit. And I want to read three chapters of the financial coaching book that I have. And I need to sit down and give myself an honest update of my year in review. So those are my goals. That's what I've done. Um, that's how September ended. And October's starting out. You know, I, hey, I want to say I did pretty good. Because I cracked down on that course. And I had an epiphany. I read a Facebook post from my cousin, the one who wants me to do all this, because like I said, he used to be strung out on meth, sold meth. Did, I mean, just, just a drug addict, just in his words, just a worthless piece of shit that, you know, basically wanted to eat a bullet. And now he is like super happy, loves his life. He's got a great life. And he was sitting there and he was like, I don't want to hear people whining. He's like, y'all talk about, you know, I got the weekend, you got the weekend. He's like, I work every weekend. And he said, this is how me and my girlfriend spent our Sunday. Five hours sitting at the table. He was like, I was going over and reviewing estimates and going over the books. She was writing up a program because she's a personal trainer for uh, fitness. She was writing up a program for her clients. And I was like, I need to do that. She's, you know, she's a coach. She's writing up a program for her clients. Why have I not written up this program and had this ready so that I can show this to people when they ask about it? So that's what I've been doing. And I cracked down on it. And that's, it lit a fire under me. You know, that one post from him lit a fire under my ass. And that's what I'm doing. So that's what I've been working on. I told my brother, I want this course done and ready to be published by the end of the year. So that's my goal. My goal is to have that uh, that course and the workbook done and ready to be published by the end of the year so I can get it up on Amazon and start selling it. And I can go around and start looking at these different, uh, different therapy places and counseling places and be like, hey, this is what I'm offering. You know, what, what's, what, what can we do here? So that's it. That's my uh, month in review. October, we're gonna hit it strong going to hit the rest of this year strong. So that's what I'm telling everybody, you know, hit it strong. And remember, Hey, winter's coming, check your furnaces, check your filters, make sure those filters are clean. That way, uh, you're not getting surprised when winter comes. So, all right, everybody have a great day, great night, whatever it is. Thank you for watching this video. I know I don't say that enough in my videos and I should, I totally appreciate everybody watching these videos. So, all right, everybody have a great one.